So hey, I'm in Terry Shrunk Park and I'm just seeing uh, some people are, looks like they're locked down here with that barrel. And uh, what's going on? Just tell me. Uh, we are tired of people not, um, basically, we're tired of people getting arrested for their First Amendment right, which is assembling peaceably, and whether it be a federal park or not. We, we had a couple people about a week ago get arrested, um, 10 people or so, um, for trying to occupy this area. And just because it's a federal park. How you doing? That's right. And exactly. so we think that no matter where we go, we should be allowed to stay wherever we truly want. Um, but at the same time, I mean, we are trying to keep it within the boundaries. Like, for example, we're trying to make this a safe and sober place. And um, so our main objective is to, to take over and then police ourselves. A lot of people are saying that there's a lot of drugs and, and alcohol and all this crap going on inside here. So we decided to take a little bit step forward and, and get away from that, you know. And we're, we're trying to, even inside of there though, we're trying to police that. And we're trying to do it communitively and, and using our words instead of violence. And yes, things get escalated because of the exchange of words, but we're human. Mm -hmm. We're going to say what we want and do what we want. There are going to be people out there trying to say that you can't. So we're trying to change that in a, in a, in a good sense, not so much in a bad sense. And here it's kind of primarily you're, you're making a, 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 it's a freedom of speech issue here is your, is your main purpose with this. Freedom of speech, of assembly, of any uh, God-given or, or, or even should I say, I shouldn't say God-given, I should say state-given laws, you know, or, or federal laws, you know. It, it, they say that, that just because it's federally owned, we're not allowed to be here, is bullshit. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that we should be able to be wherever we want, as long as we're human. <laughs> and, and to take on uh, these dramatic steps of locking yourself to a barrel, that's because you would be just carted away from jail right away. Exactly. I mean, exactly. Like, exactly. Watch the pretty kites take it. But keep your eyes open. Don't roam so blind, as I say. Look out, there's a cliff over there. Wouldn't it be something you can see with me? It's a big house for. More than just that, we want uh, Atlanta, Georgia, everywhere that's occupying, everywhere that's occupying, to understand that this is the way you want to move. If you want them to get you, uh, if you want to get further, you know, it may take cementing yourself to a big old brick, you know. Don't don't put your arm in there and cement your arm in there, you know. But we have we have it's done the right way. Yeah, do, do it the right way. We uh, go to Google, type in practical protests, and it's the first uh, PDF there, and they'll they'll give you a scratch introduction oh, on to how to make one of these. And we want people to make these and put them in federal parks, put them in front of uh, federal buildings, or even not federal buildings, but banks even, you know, anywhere. Um, to make a statement and say, hey look, we're the people, you're going to listen to us for once. Instead of you making all the decisions. And by you, I mean the government. And because that, sometimes government's colder than the government. Some 
people can't find freedom, no, they're slaves to the mind. They pick up all the cotton, she lays on the ground. And I say, oh, wouldn't it be something? Here it is, baby. The big house falls burned down. They can't just remove you exactly. super easily. It takes exactly. quite a bit to get you out of there. Yeah. Um, for example, their arms are crossed. So if they try to cut down, they'll be cutting into their arms. So we're risking our body parts and our bodies and our, our time um, to basically just get a point across. That's all we're trying to do is, is, is show that we do care and we, we're, we're a community of group. Exactly, and and drug free even. A lot of us are drug free. There's even uh, recovering addicts in the entire park, and and they've gone back to their ways. Some of them have because of the fact that there's a bunch of, I guess you could say. I, I don't mean to be rude, but ignorant people. Because I say drugs are ignorant. You know, I I've done my fair share, and I'm done with them because of the fact that they made me feel stupid. And I'm not trying to bang on anybody because of the fact that there are so many people that are still good and do drugs. But it's just, you know, we're trying to keep it legit, I guess you could say, you know? Right on. Well, I appreciate you talking to me, and it's good things you're doing here, so. Thank you for the support. Yeah, support, you support, support, support. Okay, no. um, also, we are chaining ourselves after 10 o'clock because that's curfew. And we're having as many people as we can. We got bike locks chained to our ankles, and we got another one coming of, of one of those. Okay. Another big one. And you're primarily doing it after 10 because that's when they try to kick you out. Exactly. So. Right. Oh, you're making a stand. Yep. Okay. Hey, live stream. Good. Richard's here too. Yo, uh, hi.